Hello everyone, welcome again. So in our previous video, we discussed how we can fire the insert query and select query inside the database and how with the help of result set class, we can fetch the data stored inside the table. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how you can use the test ng to perform a load test on the database. So I'm going to simulate a simple scenario where 10,000 insert query and 10,000 select query will get fired onto the database parallelly. So for that, I'm going to add one class inside my database folder and let me call it as load helper. And again, this class is going to ex extend the assert class and inside the data helper, I'm going to remove this close method because as we know that all the statement object is pointing to the common reference. So if any object calls a close method, indirectly it is closing the other object also. So if further, if we use further this object, we will get a null pointer exception. So I will close the statement object when everything is done. So once this is done, I'm going to copy this entire piece of code from here to my load helper class. And I'm going to do some changes. So again, we don't require the result class over here. And again, we didn't, don't require this. No need of while loop. And here, once everything is done, I'm going to close my statement object. Now, after this, I'm going to comment this for loop. And here, I'm going to you hard code the value of i, that is i equal to zero. So it is going to point to the this row only. So 10,000 times this row will get insert, inserted inside the database. And here I'm going to fire a select query based on random num code. So first of all, I need to generate a random num code. So string num code equal to, in order to generate the random number, I'm going to take the help of math dot random. And as you can see that the return type of this method is double. So I will multiply this method with thousand and I'm going to typecast to int. Now, once this is done, the query will change. Select a strict from data table where num code equal to sing single quote plus num code plus single quote and I'm going to print the query and similarly instead of asserting I'm going to just put a sysio along with this statement so this will be insert And so once this is done, now in order to uh, invoke this method 10,000 times, I'm going to take the help of attribute called invocation count. And the count will be 10,000 times. Similarly for this method. So I'm going to remove this two attribute. And again, invocation count will be 10,000 times. And one more thing. As I told you, we need to fire this query, query parallelly. So again, I will use attribute called thread pool size equal to five. So what it is going to do, it is going to create a five thread. Uh, that means at any instant of time, five thread is it, uh, five thread will going to execute this method. So in other words, I can say that at any instant of time, there will be a five uh, copy of method executing into the memory. And similarly, I want to execute this method also parallelly. So again, thread pool size equal to five. And you can increase the number of thread depending upon your requirement. So now I have 10 thread, which will execute parallelly and five for this particular for insert and five for your select query. And the select query will generate a random number at every time. So along with this, I'm going to print the thread ID also. So we will get to know that at a time which thread is accessing this method. 
so thread and in order to read uh, to get the thread id you need to use method called thread dot current thread which is going to return the reference of current thread dot get id and similarly for this method also so with the help of this i will get to know that what is the thread id currently executing this method now once this is done in the after class i'm closing the statement object because after this i no longer require this particular object so now i am going to uh, open my db test ng xml file i am going to let's say comment out this method because right now i don't need this method sorry this class and i require db helper for creating the connection i require table helper for creating the table so i will uh, leave this class as it is and here i am going to specify our load helper class and yes we need to have parallelism but at method level so i'm going to make it method level now once this is done i am going to run our db test and uh, test ng x uh, suite so just right click run as test ng suite so if you look at the console as you can see that the select query and insert query are getting fired parallelly and if you look at that these are the ids of the thread v which is currently executing the insert query and the select query now in this manner i am creating a load of 10000 select query and insert query at the database and at the same time you can expose your database to an external application so you can see the performance of your um, application how it is behaving under the load of this and i can increase the load also so let's say in the load helper i'm going to increase with one more zero and i'm going to rerun it in the meanwhile let me open my sql developer so let me run our suite once again so now you can see that uh, uh, it is firing the queries parallelly and every time it is generating a unique uh, num code with because we have used the function math.random so now this will keep on continue till it reach to the invocation count so you can uh, use in miss i have just showed you a small scenario but you can use for testing it at other levels also so i'm just going to kill this math, uh, kill this running and let me open my database so now if i fire a count query so now you can see that it has 22000 rows inside it so in this manner you can use testng to perform your load testing also and one more thing so let me uh, see as you can see the arrow sign this means that in our project something has been modified and it is not in the sync with the repository so let's say i will check in this code inside my repository so again right click team and first i will do synchronize with the repository to see what are the difference between my file and which is present inside the repository so as you can see that the only difference is that we have added the uh, uh, ODJ, OJDBC char in our class path and that entry is not present in the file which is in the repository so I can do a comment from here provided the comment added data base driver jar and similarly i can do for the rest of the file also so i can do for the build build.xml again i can directly do a commit or i can synchronize with the repository to see what is the difference so again so if i scroll down you can see first there is this is the difference and and there is the rest of difference also so again i can do a commit added 
some changes in build.xml now once this is done see this file which is marked with the question mark that are new that are not present in the repository so if I do a right click and do a team there the synchronize with the repository will option will not be available with me because this is the latest copy there is no copy of this particular file inside the repository so I'm do I'm going to do a commit added db test ng xml and similarly I can do a bulk commit by but just by just selecting the folder name and do a commit so it is going to list down me all the files inside that folder added data base test cases so now you can see that the greater than sign has been removed and now we are in the sync with the repository and this is coming because there are certain class file which I didn't check then so that's why so that's all for this video and thanks for watching